And we're looking ahead to two weekends from now for what will be the 25th anniversary of the TD Beach to Beacon 10K. Yeah, to celebrate this milestone, every participant will get a commemorative medal at the finish line. Our Hany Ashivi spoke with race founder Joan, ben Joan Benoit Samuelson about this major milestone. Hey, Hannah. Good morning, Sharon and Chloe. Joni, as she likes to be called, is an Olympic gold medalist and one of Maine's most recognized athletes. She founded the race almost 25 years ago as a way to promote the importance of a healthy lifestyle while also giving back to her community. More than 6,500 runners and 800 volunteers are expected to participate this year. The 6.2 mile course features some of the best views Cape Elizabeth has to offer and people from all ages and abilities take part. Larry Wold is the president for TD Bank in Maine, which is the main sponsor of the race. He has run the race for the past 24 years and has some tips for everyone along with Joni. Don't go out too fast. Make sure you're well hydrated um, and let the crowd bring you along. Run a nice, steady, comfortable pace and you're going to do, you're going to be great. Well, just make sure your buildup is gradual. Don't try to, you know, build Rome overnight. Um, you know, it's important to stay fit at some level throughout the year. And then um, a lot of people go out and run the course. Um, some people have never gone 10K in training and they just, hope that they can go the distance after maybe running three to five mile runs on a regular basis. Um, don't try anything new race week, meaning don't change your diet in any significant way or don't try the newest and latest item on the market that might improve your performance. Um, make sure you have double knots in your shoelaces. <laughs> Race day is usually pretty hot and humid, so organizers say for this and any race to wear something light and not dark in color. Also, wearing a hat and sunscreen is a good idea. Sharon and Chloe. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Hannah, very much.